Dan Moskal here and in this video we are going to actually look at how I go through and add content on uh, my websites and this is kind of a bonus video in the uh, free report that I've created that also has an SEO checklist with uh, search engine optimization so I kinda just want to show you exactly how I do it and if you aren't seeing this from that go visit danmoskleyuniversity.com and I'll be happy to give you that full uh, PDF report um, so the first thing sorry I'm getting a little over excited I write my content in not even Word uh, Microsoft pages or word I use this drag and dictate usually or I will write it in notepad and then I paste it in uh, I just do it I remove all the formatting and then I'll paste it in because that gives it like a clean version so just I go up here format and I make it plain text and then from I'll copy plain text and then I'll paste the plain text in. And this article is about how to check your credit report. <clears throat> Let me just show you the website. It's a website about credit help. There's a little bit more focus kind of on bad credit and credit cards for bad credit, prepaid credit cards collection agencies, but you know there's other uh, relevant information, you know, joint credit card accounts, how many credit cards should you have, kind of more general credit information and you know you always have to expand and grow out and build out so anyways the very first thing I do I'll paste the article in and then I copy it all and on this website we use I do the formatting the formatting is the very first thing I do so I'll go up to font size I'll change it to 14 font family I take it down and I put it on Verdana. You do what you think's best, but also the color. This uh, theme and your theme probably has a default color too, but I like the black text. And I have to set it on black text, otherwise it's like a gray text. It just it looks strange. Uh, this is the title. How to check your credit report. So that's the very first step. And then I start scrolling through. One of the important things I believe at the top is to one make your content like think about it from the perspective of your visitor like when somebody we're gonna preview it when somebody lands on your website after they do a Google search or a you know search engine search how do you want this to appear like do you want to have six sentences like if all this text was just one paragraph I don't think too many people would want to read anything we had to say or spend more than three seconds I don't know I personally I like to have a lot of white space just because I think it's a lot more user friendly and the more user friendly the more time people spend on your website the better it is for your SEO so that stuff is measured by the search engines and you know just having them scroll down a little bit because most people just kind of breeze through at least the way I use the internet I'll typically just kind of breeze through and skim over an article uh, every article before I'm willing to commit the time to it but uh, so anyways this looks bad doesn't look bad we can you know break that in I personally would recommend and encourage you to if anything break some English rules just to rather than put a bunch of commas or I think it's just a lot more friendly to have lots of white space and I regularly make one sentence paragraphs sorry to all my professors uh, so here's another cool thing with this article that we're going to do and I'll go ahead and do it first so we are talking about how to check your credit report. Annualcreditreport.com is a government-run website. Like it's not affiliated with the credit bureaus, but this uh, website is a good. You don't have to do outbound links often, but it's a good <clears throat> outbound link that we can put on our website to make it more. You know, if we're talking about how to get your credit report, 
we ought to show you and send you to the website that'll give you your free credit report you know every year like the annual free credit report that thing that you would get by law sorry so we we're gonna preview this and then if they click on that they'll actually be taken to the website where they can request their free credit report uh, we're gonna format <clears throat> some of these things a little bit here go ahead and just do that now so one of the things you can also call and get your credit report and we want to set this off like sorry there lost my mouse we want to set this off we can do a like a block quote or we can just do it like italicized or bold um, I think what we're gonna do, oh here we go let's do italicized and we'll just leave it like that And then down here, we are going to insert this little, the bullet points. We're also, whoa. We're also going to make this uh, text uh, italicized. I think it's good to have some kind of different text features when and where it's appropriate and where you can rather than just have it all be the same and we're just going to go ahead and save this and look at the preview just so we can kind of look at how it looks a little bit more engaging now. So somebody clicks is searching for how to check their credit report. They visit on our land on our website, click on our website, they scroll down, oh here you can go over and get the annual credit report. I've seen that. Here's a address that they could write to just on the uh, scrolling you know just on a brief kind of okay I see that and having some headlines in here helps or like subheadings helps too and like lists of course and then you know it, it just makes it uh, kind of a little bit more user friendly makes it uh, more search engine friendly and like I said the search engines do measure the amount of time that people spend on your website. So this is Dan Moskal. I'm losing my mouse here. And uh, <laughs> this is Dan Moskal University. You can grab a copy of this free report that I created with an SEO checklist. I'll send it over to you free. Sign up for our newsletter. You can also grab my book over at Dan Moskal University. Please leave a comment if you have any specific questions or concerns. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.